Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I am your host, The Cloudy Crown. Today, we will be reacting to Buddy Daddy's episode 6. And in the last episode, our secret has finally come to light, but it seemed like Q-chan was already kind of following that breadcrumb trail, slowly coming to figure out what's actually going on. And once he did figure it out, he took it a lot better than a lot of us thought he would. So that's really good to see but I can't wait to see what this episode has in store for us. So if you guys are excited for the episode, make sure to leave a like, subscribe so that you guys know exactly whenever I drop a brand new reaction. And if you'd like to check out my uncut reactions, I'll be posting those over on my Patreon, which you guys can join for as low as $2. But whenever you guys are ready, we'll be starting this episode in... Three, two, one... Go. All right. Looks like uh, Kazuki's over here doing laundry. Nadei's over here getting his exercise in. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are they going to start cracking down on Meter? Oh no! <laughs> Dang! Yeah, she would never, right? Surely! <clears throat> Oh no, are they gonna start changing things up? Oh no, I, I kind of feel bad for me, I'm not gonna lie. Because not only are these guys thinking of changing their parenting tactics, but on top of this, these guys have absolutely zero experience or preparation for being parents, so I have a feeling they're gonna go a little bit overboard here. And they're gonna be cracking down, like, super strict curfew, super strict on, like, what she eats, what she, like, plays with. I don't know. I'm I'm a little worried for Miri, I'm not gonna lie. Especially because we know that <laughs> Kazuki and Nadei can go a little bit over the top at times, so... I guess we'll just have to watch and see. But I doubt, I mean, of course, parenting is really important, but I doubt media would turn out that way. But you never know. You never know. Because her parents are both involved in some, well, her dad was involved in some shady stuff. Her mom, I don't know. She's just not the greatest person to grow up around well maybe see the thing is we don't know though there's so much we don't know in front of kazuki she seemed like a terrible parent but we have no idea what her relationship with midi was actually like only from what she said field trip oh is he gonna chaperone But I don't think it's like a, I don't think it was a fist fight, right? Oh, snap! Oh, no. How gallant. <laughs> she looks so happy though. She doesn't look like she just came back from a from a scuffle with one of the other students. Oh 
They're playing like <laughs> some knockoff Mario Kart. Mario Kart! <laughs> oh my god, dude. Yeah, like I said, she didn't look like she got into a fight. <laughs> Did you win? That's all that matters. So we know something happened because she said I didn't hit him. He was mean. <laughs> I don't know, you sound a little mad there, Kazuki. Oh no. Dang, you scared her off. Oh my gosh. She see now I don't necessarily feel like he pushed too hard there. But Man, did that blow up in his face. Is she sleeping in the bathtub? Oh no, that was Ray coming out of the bathroom. <laughs> did he forget about that? Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> Dang! <laughs> She's not having it. I like how they put it in all caps. Oh. Kazuki is down for the count. How is he gonna get himself out of this mess? Oh, here we go again. <laughs> Dude, she she's behind bars. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god, this is hilarious. Oh, she's already gone. Is he gonna go all the way to the zoo? No way. I knew it. <laughs> Yeah, true. What's she gonna eat? Well, here we go. That secret spy training coming into play here. Oh, this is cool. 
their first field trip together. She's here with her two friends that she made. This is so wholesome. Oh, but she seems a little sad. At least there she did. <laughs> Caught him red-handed. Oh no, this is the kid, isn't he? You tell him, Meaty. Dang, look at that. You big bully. Oh no. What was his name, Tyga? This kid is trouble. <laughs> and look, the teacher's already busy scolding some other kids. Maybe it would have been good if she had some chaperones to come with her. Oh wait, this was the guy in the news! What was he- they were talking about him shoplifting or something? Oh, is he the kid's dad, maybe? Oh, boy. <laughs> Dude, is he using a freaking sniper scope to try to find her? <laughs> Man. Oh no, don't overthink this. Oh my gosh, this guy! <laughs> His imaginations are running wild right now. <laughs> Man, it's so funny because Kazuki's like the parent that's like, you know, always concerned, that cares a little too much, and then today is like the parent that probably doesn't care enough. What the heck? <laughs> exactly! <laughs> He's drawing so much attention. He's the only one wearing all black. Oh. She was sensing something. <laughs> Those are our genes at work! <laughs> Dude, she 100% knows. <laughs> <laughs> God. They are so bad. <laughs> Dang, who knows how long they've been walking around. Oh, 
Oh no, she doesn't have her lunch. Listen, man. <laughs> Maybe because it wasn't as cut and dry as it may have sounded. Is he gonna steal those? Yeah, you didn't beep it, buddy. Hey, Kazuki looking out for him. Caught him right handed. Good job, meaty. Oh no. Mario Kart. <laughs> This is cool. For Kazuki. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it was going to pan to Kazuki. And today's face right now. <laughs> so smug. <laughs> Dude, this episode is so wholesome. Every episode is. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I don't know if I can... Oh no. She doesn't have her lunch. <laughs> Holy sharing. Let's go, Tiger. It looks like Tyga's slowly changing. He's not the man he was before. Look at that, they're all friends now. And look, they all shared with Miri. Yeah, dude, this episode is so cool. What the heck? He's stealing lunch from a kid? Get him, meaty. Jeez. This man's over here fighting kids. Okay, what the heck? Seriously? This guy is actually pathetic. Oh, but it's time. We're in Kazuki. <laughs> Messed up the wrong ones today. <laughs> 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 
Dude, this anime is so good. Let's go. <laughs> I love these voices that they're making. <laughs> He's still doing it. <laughs> Hmm. Yep. Yeah, he's grown. What a cool anime, man. <clears throat> yep. Well, to be fair, though, if they never showed up, they never would have been able to save her. <laughs> Nowadays feeling left out. He said, wasn't there an alpaca? <laughs> this guy. They gotta pay more attention to that little diary thing. Oh no, he's tearing up. <laughs> What a great anime, man. I feel like I've said this a million times, but I just can't stress enough how good this series is. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think this might be peak when it comes to, like, feel-good anime. This might be the best one I've ever seen. I'm not gonna lie to you. It is so good. The only ones that come close to me... Well, the only one that I think really comes close to this, or I guess two, would be, of course, Spy Family and um, A Place Further Than the Universe. Those are the only two other feel-good anime that I think even come remotely close to this one, but I still gotta put this one at number one. It's so good, man. And I didn't expect it at all going into it. Like, um, I don't know if you guys were here for the beginning, but... This anime was actually a part of a series I was doing at the time called um, Gem Hunt, where I tried to watch as many completely brand new anime as I could this season. And after watching the first episode of this, I was already hooked. But even then, after how good that first episode was, I didn't expect it to just keep getting even better and better with every new episode, so... This is definitely, if you are not watching this anime this season, you're missing out big time. Oh, but there's more. Is this the spy dude? Cutting. Mmm, new character next episode, it seems.
All right, so that was the end of the episode. And my question of the day for you guys is going to be, how did your, I guess, first impression of Taiga change from the beginning of the episode towards the end of the episode? Because I think in this episode alone, he's kind of grown a lot. He started off as this kind of troublemaker kid that ran around, did whatever he wanted, didn't care about anyone really but himself and then we see towards the end of the episode we see him sharing part of his lunch with Miri and he's like apologizing for all the terrible things he did so well I, I say terrible things they weren't really terrible they were just bad things like they're things that he definitely shouldn't have done but it's not like he was you know running around punching kids or you know getting into fights or anything he was just doing his own thing and getting himself into trouble so uh but by the end of the episode i think it was really cool especially seeing him share his lunch with meaty seeing as she didn't have one at all and then we had that scumbag pull up and try to rob a little kid of her lunch <laughs> he was so hungry he tried to rob a little kid of her lunch man this guy is pathetic, but I'm glad that Kazuki and Rei were able to beat him down and then hand him over to the authorities, so we probably won't be seeing that guy again for a very, very long time. But those are pretty much all my thoughts. Thank you all so much for watching this far into the video, and I will catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.